What I'm catching with this is a lot of those little finger squeaks and slips and other things that might just be a bit bright and harsh. So with this turned on, we get a little bit of a smoother sound overall. So let's go into kind of the main section here. A lot of squeaks and slips and whatnot, but now let's bring this in. So that's a really, really easy way just by adjusting the sensitivity and high pass frequency to get a nice smooth acoustic guitar that doesn't have some of that squeaky harshness to it. Finally, here's a really classic trick that a lot of people use to get a nice wide sounding acoustic guitar. And I think at the moment this recording doesn't really sound bad. I would be pretty comfortable using this, but this is a nice trick just to add a little bit more spread overall. And that's using a very slow, subtle chorus on your guitar. So this is a free chorus plugin here. We'll bring this in all the way. So that's a bit much, but if we blend this in maybe about 10 or 20%, let's turn it off. Bring it back in. It's a really nice, easy trick just to add a little bit of stereo width and movement overall to the guitar. So that's a really good trick if you're looking for that big, larger than life acoustic guitar sound. And that's really all there is to it. Acoustic guitars can be as simple or as complicated as you want them to be. And it's really just a matter of a couple quick fixes to get your guitars release ready in only a couple of minutes. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something and I hope this inspires you to get out there and make something awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.